share With a dash of this and a pinch of that Mixed all up with care The best company and conversation Recipes and new creations We're cooking up something good here at home We are cooking up something good here at home Well, hello and welcome to our program today. We're so glad you dropped in to the At Home Kitchen. And I'm, I'm like this because there's a reason. Today we're doing a Super Bowl party. This is the time you get to root for the, the team that you like best. And I've got mine covered because, because they're not in the Super Bowl. They were last year and they won, but they aren't this year. But hey, there's next year, so just stick around. You'll see, you'll see. You know, Pittsburgh fans, Steeler fans are some of the wildest people in all the world because we have a passion for what we do. Pittsburghers have a passion. Would to God they had a passion for the Lord like we all do for sports, maybe someday, huh? Well, today, my nephew Mark is joining, Paul and me, and Patty, and we're going to be making all kind of good dishes for your Super Bowl party. Things you can put together quick, things you can bake off. Just, you know what, this is a great time for celebration. It, it winds down the football season. And um, it's just a nice day to spend together. So if you need some new ideas for your party, stick around, get your paper and pencil out. We'll be giving you those hints and those recipes right after we come back from today's at home hint. Here it is. We'll be right back. Here's today's at home hint. When using shredded cheeses, store the cheese in sealed plastic bags. If you don't use within a few days, place in the freezer with air removed. You don't have to thaw it to use it. If you've got a helpful hint, we'd like to hear from you. Send your hint to At Home Hints, Cornerstone Television, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. Well, I told you we're in the kitchen with one of my favorite guys in all the world. Mark, we're so glad you're here as always. Thanks, always. Nice he back. always brings good recipes with him. And then there's my sweetness down there. Mr. Paul, he's helping us out today too. So we're gonna have a good show because we all like to eat. It's we obvious. A lot of stuff. <laughs> and we brought a lot of stuff. Now you're gonna start with what's called summer sausage. Summer sausage. I'm with wild game, I'm using elk meat, so, you know. Look at this, folks. Figure. If you've never seen elk meat before, look at how incredibly lean that is. Oh, it's good for you. Just like no fat, you no have fat, to put fat in no it. cholesterol. Huh? Um, I'm excited about this, uh, obviously, because every time to my house, you're going to eat wild game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and not, huh? this recipe I've never had before. I butcher my own deer. Um, if you take... Uh, your, your dear to someone else. They offer special things. Yeah. Summer sausage, right. turkey, and stuff right. like this. So I'm uh, missing it. Everybody yeah, because like, you're doing your own. Right. Well, a friend of mine, John, his mom, Bonnie Johnson from Armour, PA, yeah, you told gave me, me this about recipe. Bonnie. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's a nice lady. I love her. And I'm really excited because you can do so much with this. Good. We're going to make um, this. I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to add some cayenne. And you, this is probably basic. What we put in the newsletter is basic. And then you can go basic. hot. Oh, you can go sweet. You could add jalapeno cheese. Oh, boy. Uh, just so much things you could do with it. I okay. really love it. So, okay, uh, just tell us what this is, and then you can do that, and then we'll get Uncle Paul started. Okay. Well, we're going to start off with some cure. I always go by the package. Cure. Cure. This is uh, it's a nitrate. Always go by the instructions on the package. It tells you, you how that. much. Yeah. This is actually uh, a quarter Lemon. teaspoon for uh, a pound of meat. Okay, and where do you get that? I got it online from Lem Products. So you need that they, in order for this wild secure, stuff to taste right. Secure, okay. exactly. Okay. So I'm going to start off with that. Then we're just going to go and we're going to add some uh, brown sugar. Okay. And garlic powder. Okay. And all of these are half, yeah, half teaspoons. teaspoons. But I bumped it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, onion powder. Okay. And liquid smoke. Ooh. Yeah, and that's what the gloves are for because okay. I smell like I've been building a fire. <laughs> you smell like you're on barbecue. Yep. And I'm, I'm going to add some pepper. I love pepper. Okay. And just for heat, I got uh, about a half a teaspoon of cayenne. Good old cayenne. Good. Yeah. Okay, you're just going to mix that together, that's right? That's it. And okay. I'm gonna put my you off. do that. I'm going to get Uncle Paul started. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweetness, what are we doing here? 
Well, you're making another one of Bonnie's recipes. That's correct. And she makes a shrimp dip. Okay, we have uh, cream cheese. Yes. We have some ketchup. Ketchup. Onion. Onion. Worcestershire. And some horseradish. And of course, oh, shrimp. shrimp. And of course, some, and hot, some hot sauce. sauce. Okay. Which we like real well, right? Now you're going to mix all this in here and use a mixer, right? That is correct. And then once that's mixed, you're not going to do this with the mixer. You're going to spoon this. With the spoon. That okay. is correct. You do that. I'm going to go over here. Oh, look at that, Mark. That looks so good. Yeah, I just got to make sure it mixes up real well. Wow. I tell you what. All the spices that, get through there. That is, the color of that is just incredible. Yeah, it's beautiful red. I can smell that. Um, Smoke. Moisture. Yeah. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm making chili because I love chili for the Super Bowl party. And I've got a couple pounds of ground meat, some onions, some green peppers in here. I have one can of diced tomatoes. I have another can of diced tomatoes all going in. Another smaller can of diced tomatoes. This is just a kind of a dump thing. And then let it cook. A couple of cans of tomato sauce. Okay. There we go. And another can of tomato sauce. And then some beans. Now you can use pinto beans, you can use red kidneys, whatever. I like the, the bushes. These are called chili beans. I just do the whole deal. One whole can of those. And then I like baked beans in mine. Silly as I am. But I, this is 28 ounces or you can get a total of 30, but 28 is close enough. You just put them all in there. This makes a really good chili. Okay? Now, clean that out. Patty, I'm going to have you come in. Let's get rid of some of these, okay? And we're going to talk the spices that we're going to use. What's going on, Mark? What we're going to do next get all this mixed very well, we're going to make three six-inch logs. So those are the just logs, like a regular... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Just a log, and we're going to make it... Uh, pack it pretty good. Pretty okay. And I'm just gonna three of those. Saran wrap. Okay. Right there, and like little meatloaf. Exactly. Try to keep them round. I'm just going to roll them up. Real and tight. you roll them. Real tight. Okay. Hold the ends in and that's it. You do that three times. Okay, while you're doing that, in goes with my chili, you stir. A half a cup of chili powder. Did you hear what I said? Half a cup. Half a cup of chili powder. Black pepper. This is just a little teaspoonful of the red pepper flakes. Now folks, this is hot. This is a little kosher salt. How'd <laughs> you like that? It caught it well, huh? And a couple of chopped jalapenos. Some because that always takes that bitter edge off of the uh, tomato. And then this is garlic powder. And you're gonna let that come to a boil and let it cook for as long as you can because the longer the better. The longer the better on that one. Wonderful. Okay, that's done. He's doing his... One more to go. One more of those. Okay, over here, let's see what Uncle Paul's doing. I need it. Wow. A... What do you need, honey? How do I get this... Uh... That stuff off of there. The check. Here, here, let me help you. Help me out a little bit. I'll be glad to. You have to push down on it, honey. That's a lady's deal. There you go. Thank you. Mix that. Then you're going to mix the, the uh, shrimp in there. And then you're going to refrigerate this for... Just till it gets chilled. Mark's going to chill his stuff down, too. For how long, Mark? Yeah, once, once we get them rolled up like this, they're going to refrigerate for about 24 hours. Okay. A little longer, don't matter. Okay, go At ahead. least 24 hours. and. Uh, then he has a process that you have to, of course, cook them because you can't have raw meat. Then after 24 hours, they're going to go in the oven for for one hour. 300 degree oven? At 300 degrees. And they're going to come out looking like this. 
Caddy's going to start our, our buffalo chicken dip over no, there you while you're doing it. No, you don't cook them in the saran wrap. You keep them open. Wow, look at that. And that's, yeah, not in a saran wrap. That wouldn't right, be good. Right, Look you at that. Kind of just to show you what it looks like inside. Look, that's like summer sausage. That's what exactly Duh, is. that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. Yeah. That's wow, it. and the smell very, is... Very, very easy to now, make. Now, we're going to serve that when we get to the dining room. We're mm -hmm. going to put some some incredible mustard and some bread stuff with that. Stick with us because when we come back, we've got more ideas and we're going to get keep going with some more cooking stuff. Don't forget, we're here with the Super Bowl party. You don't want to miss the rest. We'll be right back. And then Paul already has the shrimp dip. It's chilling in the fridge. My chili is doing great over here in the pot. We also made a buffalo um, chicken dip that we put in the oven. The recipe is in the, in the Enjoy newsletter. Everybody's making it now. It's awesome. You'll see it at the end, okay? All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to start Paul down there with, what are you making, pepperoni dip? That's another one of Bonnie's uh, recipes. Yeah, it's Bonnie's recipe. Yeah. And there's just uh, la ricotta, and pepperoni, some Parmesan cheese, and some uh, good seasons. That's all. That's it. I'll tell you, thanks, That's Bonnie. We really appreciate all these recipes. That's great. Okay, what are you doing over here, bud? Okay, we're going to make a Super Bowl broccoli balls. All right. And I'm just uh, mix, beating some eggs. Okay, so you have six eggs. And six eggs here. Um, the broccoli's already been cooked. That's frozen broccoli, frozen chopped broccoli, broccoli and frozen, thawed, and then uh, cooked. Yep. And drained and cooled down bowl. a little bit. Okay. Then uh, stovetop stuffing, stuffing mix. Stuffing mix, oh yeah. yeah. That's a chicken flavor, huh? Chicken flavor. Yeah, that adds to it good. Put in there. Okay. What else are we gonna put here? Let's put the eggs in. Okay. Put everything together. Ooh, that holds it together, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. Parmesan cheese. We got some finely minced onions. Oh, yeah. Well, I like everything going in that pot. I know. <laughs> Pepper, a little bit of hot sauce. A little bit of hot sauce. Hot sauce and everything for Super Bowl and party, some huh? some garlic salt. Okay. And then what and do you do? I'm just going to mix all that up. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to start on my punt the pierogi casserole. These are fafalis, these little bow ties. We cooked them, buttered our dish, and we just drained them really well, and we put half of them in the bottom of this dish. Now, this is six big Idaho potatoes, and we have mashed and made regular mashed potatoes, but the addition is a one pound box of Velveeta cheese that we cut in tiny little chunks and while they were still hot, it melted down. Now we're gonna put half of this right on top of these bad boys. Oh, my mouth is watering. I can hardly stand it. Oh, that looks good, Mark. Mm -hmm. Good colors in that, huh? Sure is. Oh yeah, I tell you, if you could smell what's going on in here, you'd love it because it smells really, really good. You just want to push this all around. If you like pierogies or your kids like pierogies, you know what, this is something you're going to want to make, not just for Super Bowl, but any kind of bowl. And don't forget, make stuff that kids will like, adults will like. This is a time for family and for friends, all ages to get together and enjoy. So. Think of all of them. Now, we didn't do fried wings. We didn't do all, because you usually have that anyway. So we thought we were just giving you some ideas of things that were different to add to your menu that you're already going to probably have those chicken wings and such. But I just like the variety of, get a, lot, get a bunch of people together and say, oh, you know, I make this, I make that. Go for it. Let them make it. Okay, so now once we have that, you have. You absolutely have to have onions with this, right? I think so too. So we're gonna, we browned off some onions. We're just gonna do half here. Oh my, I'm telling you, this is one large, very large onion. You're just gonna spread them around so everybody gets a little bite of that. 
Oh, yummy. You got it in the fridge? Got it in the fridge. All yep. right, we're cool. Gonna do this. We're gonna wrap this up. Marks is going in the fridge too. You okay, you're gonna preheat the oven. Now I'm putting mozzarella cheese on top of this, okay? And Mark's uh, is gonna go bake it in the oven at 350. Paul's is just gonna be served with some crackers. This is gonna go in the oven and bake. The chili is gonna be done, so we don't have to worry about that. And I think we have a nice variety. I love it. Patty baked us a And I do this again with the pasta. Mark, you want to give that chili a stir? Okay. Just make sure it's not sticking. Let's talk about how we're going to serve that. Oh, taste. Is it a little hot? Should we call the fire it's engine good. yet? Call the fire department. This not is going to be hot. a hot one. Not too hot for me. I, I know. Believe. That's. I was keeping that in mind. Mm -hmm. And um, again, we just put all of these over top. Mm. Yummy, yum. Just makes your mouth water. You know, when you're making this food, you just feel like, oh, you want to get a lot of beverages, especially if you're having hot stuff. <laughs> Lots of beverages. And then we do the potatoes again. Just put them all over, nice big layer. Mm, I'll tell you, these potatoes, we were testing them. The potatoes are good enough without doing anything else. Just eat the potatoes. Yes. And the onions in there. And the oh. onions. Oh. What more could you want, huh? Yes, sorry. But we do want to spread them. Get them going. There we go. Just like that. Make sure you have a lot of fresh vegetables. Nice assortment of crackers and breads. Like your summer sausage, we're gonna put on a little pieces of bread and have a really good, unusual uh, mustard. Mm. We'll be good with that. I think that will be real good. So, okay. Then I'm just going to, I should just use all these potatoes, right? Oh, they're, they're great. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Paul's waiting for any that happens to I'll be left over. <laughs> You can tell me what to do with them, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna put cheese and then onions again. Well, let's do the onions first. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna keep layering. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. When we come back, we're gonna be in the dining room and show you everything we made for our Super Bowl party today. Stay with us. Here's how you can get these recipes. Well, the game's on and we're eating. It's not halftime yet, but we're eating anyway because we got stuff everywhere here. We got Doritos, we got chips. Make sure you put all that stuff around too. We have a nice soft drink bar behind us going to town. And then look at this table. This is what we made today. Mark? It's Bonnie summer sausage. Isn't that awesome? Can't beat it. Uh, got some toasted bread and a specialty mustard. Hot and sweet, yeah. Oh, what fantastic. more could you want? Okay, and then Paul, you made, let's see, Paul made, we have to look, we have to check this out because we don't want to miss any of them. You made the pepperoni dip. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one over there. And we noticed we put all the variety of crackers and a big variety of vegetables. Instead of putting them around each one, we put them all at one, then you can just grab what you want, okay? And then I made the chili, which is right there. And you know what? It's hotter than blazes, so if you don't like it this hot, don't use that half cup. Cut that way back, okay? Don't want anybody getting like a surprise. And we just added a bunch of toppings for our chili here. And then, Mark, what did you do next? The broccoli? Oh, the broccoli balls. Broccoli balls down mm -hmm. there. We made a little dip there for them. Those are easy and very tasty. And, Paul, you made... The shrimp. The shrimp. And we just added some shrimp on top of that. That's another one of Bonnie's recipes. Again, we have the variety of crackers and also of all the vegetables. Then... This thing here is like awesome. Look at that bad boy. That's my punt, the, what is it called? Pierogi. Punt the pierogi casserole. I forget what it's called. Layers and layers of potatoes and noodles and cheese and onions. That's going to be awesome. And we have added um, 
That's our chicken wing, not chicken wing, chicken, chicken buffalo chicken dip that we didn't have time to, um, where's my celery? It's the recipes there, but look at this. This is chicken. Look at that. Does that look awesome or what? Easy to make, delicious, people love it no matter where you go. Big variety. Let me show you what my melt looks like. You take some pasta, not a lot, put a little penne pasta in the bottom of a bowl. Then I'm going to add my chili right over the top. Now this could be a main course for dinner anytime you want it to. Then I'm going to put, oh, we have to have cheese. So you do the cheese. And then, of course, you have to have some sour cream just to tone it all down a little bit. So sour cream's next. And then we do a little bit of green onions on top. Jalapenos. There you have it. Hey, have a happy Super Bowl. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, family. We'll see you next time. It wouldn't be the same without you. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.